Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'll show you how you can increase line weight in Illustrator and do it proportionally. Before I start this video tutorial, let me introduce you to my other Illustrator training that I have at Udemy and also at Skillshare. And you'll find coupons in the description below that give you deals on all of my courses at Udemy and also a deal on Skillshare that's at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and typically mine is even better. So let's swing back to Illustrator where I've got three motor vehicles. Now they're all exactly the same car and we're going to look at making the line work both larger and smaller on these objects. There is a proviso here. I do have an element that's filled with a pattern and we are going to sacrifice that in the process, but I'm going to show you how to fix that issue. I'm going to select over this vehicle and I'm going to make the lines thicker on this one. To do that, I'll choose object and then transform and transform each. We're going to turn preview on because we want to see what we're doing. And we get two options here to transform the objects or transform patterns. Now we don't want our object to get any bigger, but we do want the lines to get bigger. And we can't disable both these options because as soon as we deselect transform patterns, then transform objects automatically become selected. And so we're going to have to go with one or the other. And so I'm choosing to go with transform patterns. And I do want to scale strokes and effects because that's exactly what we came here to do. Now your default settings will be 100% and 100%. So let's just go and set that up to 100 and 100. And so at this point, you just need to determine how much bigger you want the lines to be. I'm going to make them 200% bigger. And we'll set that for vertical and horizontal. And you can have a look at that and see if that's big enough. You'll notice that the patterns have also changed and that's just a byproduct of this process. When you're happy with what you've got, just click OK. At this point, you could come in with the group selection tool and select over these objects that are filled with a pattern. So I'm just going to select both of these and I'm just going to make sure that I actually have them selected here in the layers palette and it doesn't appear that they are actually selected. So let's just go and get the two that I want, which are these headlights. We know that we took the scale of the lines up 200%. So with the pattern filled objects selected, we'll go to object transform, transform each. Turn preview on. You do want to transform the patterns, but we don't want to scale strokes and effects. And what we want to do is to reduce these to 50% which will take them back to where they were initially. So you can see that the pattern scale is exactly the same. And all we need to do is just click OK. So we've been able to create these lines as much thicker than they started off being. And there's a similar process to do it and make the lines much thinner. Select your object, choose object, transform, transform each. Make sure you have preview turned on. You want to transform patterns and you do want to scale strokes and effects. And here I'm just going to go with the 50% that I used previously. So this is making the line weight 50% of what it was in the previous image. So I'll just click OK. Of course, that's also affected the pattern in the headlights, which we didn't want to do. So let's go to the layers palette work out which group this involves and then go and select the headlights. And here they are here. So I'm just selecting them and I'm going to take their scale back up. Object transform, transform each. Turn preview on. We do want to transform patterns, but we don't want to scale strokes and effects. And I want to take these up to 200%. Double check that that pattern is the same weight as the original, which it is, and just click OK. So there's a nice, simple and effective way of scaling line weight in Illustrator. Of course, it will affect patterns. And so if you've got any pattern filled objects, you'll just have to clean those up later. But if you don't have any pattern filled objects, then it's going to be simplicity itself. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please, if you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.